I'm gonna go. In here, I have concentrated hydrochloric acid. This is 12 mole per cubic decimeter. Very, very strong. Can you see on the outside of the test tube, we have fumes, condensation. If you smell it just a little bit, it irritates your nose. It's actually just a little bit unpleasant. <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is just add each metal. Do you remember what this one was? Copper. 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 Metal C. Actually, maybe I need to cut it a little smaller. Uh, my scissors? Has anyone got my scissors? Um, oh, yeah, we couldn't find them before. I'll tear. <laughs> okay. Any reaction? No. We don't expect any reaction, do we? This one is metal A. I want to leave this one for a second. <laughs> Thank you, Nigel. Metal A. Metal B. Oh, look at that. Really going. It's metal D. Oh, very strong. And because that's so strong, that tells me don't use metal E. <laughs> yeah. 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 I am not using metal E. These are not boiling tubes. They're not designed to get very, very hot. So I'm not going to use metal E. If you have any doubt in science, don't do the experiment. Talk to an expert first. Okay? <laughs> I don't know if that tube is designed for that kind of temperature. It may spit acid as well. That acid is very strong. We don't want that to happen. Okay, you can smell that as well. That's unpleasant. Mm. You, you smell the fumes? Yeah. Right. So this is strong acid. I don't want to just put it down the sink like this because it will corrode the things which are in the sink. So I will dilute it. And dispose. Once we've, oh, these are still reacting. Still going? Okay, let's just leave these. Oh, look at, look at this one, this is metal A. You can feel it, it's quite hot. A little hot. I think metal D is dead. Very much dead. We just have some black solid left. And this one, well, but does it's the liquid look colored to you? Green. Yeah. Yeah. It looks a little bit colored yeah, 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 yeah. to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A little, mm, yellow. little, yellow. little bit I yellow or green. Green, green yeah. Okay. I will clean those up in a second. I'm just going to put them somewhere safe. Mm -hmm. We've got two more metals to see, X and Y. We didn't get time wow, to see X wow, and Y. Wow. First of all, I have some water here and some universal indicator. Um, what colour do you think it will go? Um, green. Universal indicator? Green. Green, green, green. Any other ideas? Um, uh, 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 green. Neutral. Green is neutral. Yes. Okay. Water. Just water. Yes. Maybe a little more. Okay. 
Now I'm going to add two different metals. I need to get them first. X and Y. You see, X and Y are stored under mineral oil. Oh. They're stored under mineral oil because they react just with oxygen from the air. So that's why we have them underneath oil. Unfortunately, I don't have any tissue to clean it, so I'm just gonna have to put it in with the oil still on it. Let's see if I can make that piece a bit bigger. Press them together. No, probably not. Oh well. Two small pieces, let's go with small then. This is the biggest piece we have, I think. Ready? Hmm? What happened? Just wait. Just oh, wait. Oil. oh, Just the oil on the outside, stopping it from reacting at first. Look at the color. Oh, Change. Change. And it's uh. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Let me just switch that up. Let's see if I can make a big piece. All the all the pieces are small, so I want to make them together into a bigger piece. Whoa. Purple. So has it gone acidic or alkaline? Alkaline. Water's gone alkaline. Alkaline. All right. Let's just make sure that's not stuck. Good. Hopefully that will stick together. Okay. Ready? Whoa. It may catch on fire and it may spit. So just move back a little bit. The big ones can spit hot metal. Mm, this one's not catching on fire. Sometimes it catches on fire. Whoa. Oh look, you see a few sparks? <coughs> so that is metal X. Metal Y. We have a huge amount of it. I've never seen this amount. A whole <laughs> jar. I'm not crazy enough to put the whole thing in. I, val I value my life. But it's so soft. It's so soft. I can just pull it off using the tweezers. So soft. Very soft metal. Wow. Okay, for this one, it's very reactive. So I'm going to use these and move back. You guys need to move back as well. Nigel, you're gonna need to move back. I know you want to video it. You still need to move backwards. No. <laughs> backwards, over here, over here, or back here, it's okay. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna put the lid on. <laughs> Just in case. It's under oil, so nothing should happen, but Better safe than sorry. Okay. Ready? Whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow. That is melting metal. Those sparks you can see, melting metal, whoa. molten metal. Wow, cool. Nice. So that's metal Y. Don't forget to write down what you saw. So the color of the flame is important. Okay. Not only uh, the strength of the reaction, but also the colors, also the sparks you can see, also the smoke. Write down everything you experienced today. Homework, for homework, do a discussion of your results. Oh. So what is the meaning of your results? Try and guess which metal was which. Yeah. Okay. okay, have a good weekend. I will see you, oh no, I won't see you next week because Friday is yeah. cancelled. Oh. Oh, so I'll so. see you in two weeks. Yeah.